Madison, Wisconsin is a, a lovely community, a great place to grow up, a great place to raise a family. It's the capital of Wisconsin. It's a medium-sized community. Uh, has incredible intellectual capital as well as the capital of Wisconsin. Uh, it's a very, very vibrant community. Recreational opportunities abound in Madison. We have four very distinct seasons and, and uh, incredible lakes and resources. Uh, Madison also, of course, has the internationally renowned University of Wisconsin-Madison, which is Wisconsin's land-grant institution. And the University of Wisconsin-Madison is a, a internationally recognized number one public research institution uh, that has been around since the mid-1850s and is leading in cutting-edge research and practice uh, around the world. The Department of Rehabilitation Psychology and Special Education has a primary mission to serve individuals with disabilities through education, habilitation, and rehabilitation. Both the Rehabilitation Psychology and Special Education programs have baccalaureate, master's, and PhD level programs, all of which are nationally and internationally recognized. Um, the Rehab Psych side is for more on adult services, and the Special Education side is um, on services for school age kids. There are so many faculty who are doing work around issues for youth and young adults with disabilities, whether it relates to how we serve them in classroom settings, to how do we equip them with the uh, self-determination and life skills that they'll need to be successful when they leave school to how do we serve kids well in alternative settings outside of the classroom. One of the unique parts of our program is that it's small enough that it's almost like going to a small college in a lot of ways. Yet we're a part of this big state-of-the-art well-respected research university. The primary emphasis of our degree programs is to train frontline rehabilitation counselors at the master's degree level. Our PhD program essentially is preparing our, our graduates to uh, teach in academia and they typically go into uh, rehabilitation counseling or rehabilitation psychology programs across the country and we've actually disseminated uh, uh, academics into almost every major institution uh, uh, and have an incredible network. One of the things that attracted me initially to the program was the reputation. Um, I mean, it just consistently ranks number one or number two in, you know, in the, the national rankings of, for, for rehab psychology programs. I think it's very important to think about when you're choosing a program um, what degree of support is going to be there for you as a student, both with your fellow students and with the faculty. What kind of uh, research opportunities are going to be there. The program I think is unique in that it offers uh, wonderful opportunities for both practicums and internships and I, I don't see that happening in other programs quite as um, uh, as actively I guess. One of the advantages of this program is that you know we're in a pretty large sized city um, and so there's a lot of, you know, diversity of everything from Department of Corrections, you could do a field placement site, to community mental health, to, you know, this is an independent living center. I really wanted to work at the VA uh, here in Madison and looking into some of my options there, uh, working in the rehabilitation uh, area in the VA was kind of an opportunity that, uh, that I had researched. And so, of course, I looked into um, the program here and when I started talking to uh, some of the staff here um, and had them explain to me what was going on in the program, um, it was a perfect fit for me. I have tremendous respect for the faculty. Um, I think it would be a completely different program without the faculty that's within the Rehab Psych program right now. In this program, um, at this time, there is a huge wealth of professional experience that the faculty have that they bring to the table. Philosophically, I would say that the faculty in the program is 100% right on. Um, they get it. Uh, they, they know their stuff. They're very well versed in the policy. Um, the funding streams, things that are going on at the federal and the state levels, a lot of the information um, and activities that are sort of driving the field. Well, I think all the faculty are very top-notch in their fields and they've all, you know, published and done research. 
uh, but they're also very approachable as human beings. So, you know, I, I think none of them are intimidating professors. They're just real good at listening to you, and they, they really are, um, are functionally uh, proficient at just guiding you down the path that you really want to go to because coming into a program like this, um, th there are so many uh, avenues that you can go down and there's so many kind of directions to take and, and they, kind of, they, they kind of take what your vision is and they kind of help you mold it. They never lose sight of what's really important and that's the individual lives of people with disabilities who want to work um, and uh, participate in the community um, independently. Returning to school at such a big campus I thought was going to be a little bit overwhelming, but this department is um, so, uh, just I, I guess the best way to describe it would be just kind of um, just a, an incredible family atmosphere. Uh, everybody uh, gets to know everybody really quick because of how much interaction we all have. You have the contrast of the large size of the Institution of Madison, but yet within the program, um, a sense of a, a real small and close-knit community. Once you get to the graduate level, the group of students that you go through the program with, it's not competitive, it's supportive. I've studied with people from Colombia, Japan, Korea, people with disabilities. It's just an amazingly diverse um, student body in this program. The whole idea of multicultural competency is very important in our field, and with um, the exchange that we're able to have with having students from um, such diverse backgrounds and such different places really adds to the wealth of the conversation that we can have about that. They care about you and care about you not only as a student but also as you're moving out into the field and they, they do their best to try to connect people with job openings and with other former graduates. They're exceptionally invested in having their students become better, uh, not just simply graduating, but really um, stretching, growing, learning. Um, n um, so you're challenged, but yet really to, to a really good result. Yeah, honestly, when I started thinking about a PhD program, I looked at a few different options um, just to sort of explore and see what was out there. And I was still drawn back to the rehab psych program at Madison, um, clearly because the faculty is top notch, um, the program is top notch, and um, they're number one in the country and they should be. Our graduate programs are really uh, uh, state of the art, and in my totally biased opinion, I don't think there's a better place to go.